Hello, fourth and fifth grade. Today is April 9th, it's Thursday, and I hope you're off to a great start. We're gonna start on our textbooks here on page 196. We're gonna pick up where we left off yesterday on uh, Remember D. Uh, we're gonna do Remember D real quick on the board, so if you can do that with me. Look with me on Remember D, let's read the directions together. Ready, begin. Underline the verbs two times and the subject one time. Circle each adverb. Let's find the verb for number one first. We're only gonna do number one. The small cabin in the woods was, very, uh, was quickly built. What is my verb? My verb is was built. Very good. Who or what was built? And the word is woods. Very good. All right, uh, let's look for any words that are modifying, again, an adverb modifies a verb, adjective, another adverb. Um, do you see a word that is modifying? Oh, I think I did something wrong here. Um, it's not woods. Uh -huh. uh, who or what? was built, not the woods, you cannot build the woods, the cabin, I apologize for that. Um, anyways, let's keep going. Do you see a word that is an adverb here? Very good, the word quickly, so I'm gonna circle the adverb here and draw an arrow to the word that it modifies and was built, all right? You are gonna finish numbers two through eight. By the way, can I just say for number two, uh, make sure that you're really careful on doing number two to find the, uh, the subject, all right? Remember E, let's do remember E, there's two of them for remember E. Uh, let's read the directions together. In the blank, label the bold word in the sentence using N for uh, noun, V for verb, PRO for pronoun, ADJ for adjective, or ADV for adverb. Number one, Zacchaeus was a short man. What is short here? Okay, very good. If you're looking at this word and you are saying this word is modifying man. If it modifies man, what is man? Man is a noun. So if a word modifies a noun or pronoun, it is what? An adjective, very good in the blank, right, ABJ. Very good, number two, he was climbing a tree. The word that is in bold there is what? Very quickly, what is what? Was, very good, was is a verb, so put B in the blank, B in the blank. All right, and that is it for Remember E, you are gonna do numbers three, four, and five. Let's go to page 197. We're gonna do a new concept here. I'm gonna introduce you to a new concept for the day. Um, the first things first, go ahead and go with me to page 197 as we said. Um, we are going to look at some using adverbs correctly and I know at times, and I, I, feel, like, I feel like at times we speak incorrectly because we don't know what words to use and how to use them. Look with me on here as I uh, point to on the board here what we're gonna do. If you've ever said this before, that was sure good. It's wrong. You use the word sure incorrectly. Let's go to the next one. Your new pen is real nice. That is wrong. You cannot say real nice. Now, why? The students who wrote these sentences, or I wrote them here, but the students that have written these sentences before were not careful. Um, they tried to describe, or they tried to make an adjective describe an adjective. An adjective cannot describe an adjective. That is wrong -o, all right? Um, he needs an adverb that tells to what extent versus saying, sure, good. You can't have an adjective describe another adjective. Good is modifying uh, uh, what was good. That was good. Over here, real modified an adjective that is modifying the word pen, telling you what kind of pen it was. It was a nice pen. So we need, what we need here are adverbs modifying adjectives. Let's look at the sentence here. Let's point to the arrow here, or look at the arrow. And it, now I can fix the sentence by saying and making the word sure into an adverb. How did I make it into an adverb? By just adding ly to the end. That was surely good. Now this is correct. The next one here. So going from this was a, your pen, uh, your new pen is real nice. I can make this into a correct sentence by adding an adverb again uh, and um, uh, modifying the adjective. Your new pen is really nice. Notice the word really has now changed from real to really by adding ly. All right. Um, be careful not to use an adjective when you need an adverb. When you write sentences, be careful not to use an adjective when what you need is an adverb if it's modifying an adjective. Complete this list by filling in any, uh, any missing 
adjectives or adverbs. I'm going to start with the first four with you. I have them written on the board, so look with me, ready? I could say the adjective good, but if I wanted to say and use it as an adverb, I would use it as well. The next one, sure and surely. The adjective is sure, the adverb is surely. Real is the adjective and the adverb is really. Soft is the adjective and the word softly is the adverb. Let's finish here. Uh, the first one that we see there in the next uh, pair or in the next section there, the column, is clear. Clear is the adjective and the adverb would be clearly. Sad. Sad would be the adjective and my adverb would be what class? Sadly, right. Slow would be an adjective. What's the uh, missing uh, blank there? Slowly, correct. Neat. Neat would be your adjective and your adverb would be neatly. Simply by adding ly to most of these words, except for well, you made them into adverbs. All right, let's look at think be. Think be, and we're gonna finish here for today. Think be, underline the correct adjective or adverb to complete the sentence. Some sentences have more than one answer. Let's look at number one. I've only done two on the board here, but you're gonna underline the correct adjective or adverb to complete the sentence. Some sentences have more than one answer. Number one, do you feel good or well, which one of the two? Very good, when you are telling how you feel, you must use the word well. Very good, so underline well. Number two, actually the three, I apologize. The orchestra played real, really good or well last night. Okay, which one would you start? Let's start with the first two. Would it be real or really? It would be really. I'm just gonna be modifying the word after it here. Really good or well, well. How they play, they played well. Number three, the game was sure or surely a close one. The game was sure or surely a close one. Would you would you say it was a sure, uh, it was sure a close one or surely a close one? Very good, the word surely. All right, and that completes our exercise for Think B. Well, it doesn't complete. Uh, it completes our exercise together here. You're going to do numbers 4 through 16 on your own, and that is the lesson for today. I hope you're understanding and uh, uh, finding these concepts um, practical and easy to understand. Um, please be uh, diligent on your work. Make sure that you are doing this. I know that it takes discipline and responsibility and character for somebody to uh, be doing this while on video. I wish you were here with me so we could do it together. But um, I hope that when you get back, all of this is done correctly. And I know that a lot of this we can't really do together. But um, again, just try our best as best you can. If you have any questions, let me know. I miss you. Love you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.